Welcome to our architecture room map. This time we're going to start with the desktop mode. A lot of people have asked for showing that and there are different modes in there. You can switch if you press the control button on your keyboard. You get the mouse and all of this is also working with the mouse so you don't have to move your keyboard every time you want to look at something. So this is really nice. All of the other effects and interactions work also for the desktop mode here. So we can change the mesh, change the material or delete the actor altogether. Here's an example of how you can open up the drawer or you can pick up the cigarette. You can even turn it if you press the right mouse button. And of course all this functionality can be expanded. And this is the equivalent to our laser mode that you just saw the red line there. And you may also have noticed that I'm able to fly. So all of this can be changed in the pawn settings. So you can have like a walking pawn or a flying pawn. And this is also true for the VR pawn. So here's the screen you're watching this video on right now, if you're not on YouTube but in-game. And let's change some of the materials or even the actor. And also grabbing and moving around is working with the mouse, so it's fully supported here. One thing I wanted to show you is we have also integrated the object dropper you know from the other videos into our non-VR pawn. So you have a simple UI where you can also spawn objects and you can define every object you want in there. So you can also spawn not only static meshes but fully functional blueprint actors like, like the gun or something like this. So all of this works seamlessly in VR and in the desktop mode. And you can also see that the actors are attached to the floor, to the walls. And if I grab this wall, we have integrated an anchor here. So you can snap them back at the very same position. And they are perfectly matched up here. So this is a nice usage of the anchor system. And even after moving them around, everything works the way it should be. So let's get rid of all these bushes here and once we are finished we will dive into VR and I'm going to show you some of the mechanics with the VR pawn and in this case let's start off with the hands. So here we are in VR, same map, start it again and I'm going to use the hands for these examples. So the hands have different mechanics we integrated lasers for them now so if you're close to something selectable you can also activate it with lasers that's very nice for things like the menus or like in this example so i can use my laser to switch between the different assets here but of course i can also go in there and really press the buttons I'm going to crap this here can see the different sockets the mesh has and it's snapping into the right positions here. And here's an example of how you can actually just press the buttons in 3D space. So no need for the lasers and if you want to you can of course also turn the laser off. But I, I really like using it. It's a great addition, I think, to the hands. Let's draw a little bit. And
and the pens are a great example of interactivity because you can switch the size of the pen if you press on the touchpad or on the thumbstick. You can switch the colors with the paint buckets. So basically just go in there, play a little around with all the assets and build your own house with the help of the object dropper and I'm going to see you in the next tutorial.